Yeah. About 130, 133. 133. Okay. Oh gosh, we're right there, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Good afternoon, Derby fans, and welcome to WFTDA.TV's live broadcast of the final match of the day of the Wuftada sanctioned tournament Besterns held right here in Denver, Colorado at the Foothills Fieldhouse, sponsored by your Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. My name is Drusifer. I am here to call your final bout of the day between the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls 5280 Fight Club and the Home of Victory Dolls All-Star Squad. Starting with the star on her helmet for Rocky Mountain. Looks like we've got number 719 Alpha Q up. And number 46, Fatal Inferno, starting at the jammer line for Oklahoma. The Rocky Mountain Roller Girls come into this tournament with a 3 and 5 record, ranked number 30 in what did the rankings. Oklahoma City comes in ranked 53rd with a 1 and 5 record. They've had a little bit of a difficult season. They, they had a pretty good loss yesterday. Rocky Mountain is 1 and 1 on the on the tournament. Rocky Mountain hosting Besters for the fifth straight season. Got a little bit smaller field this year than in years past, but we've got a longer distance this year with our Competitors from Argentina coming the longest distance. First whistle is blown, which means about five seconds will be starting. Second whistle blows, and we're off. And no sooner did I say that than Alpha Q up has become our new jammer for your Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. Oklahoma still struggling around turn one as Alpha Q comes up around the turn to start and make her first pass. Alpha Q calls that jam off just about uh, 18 seconds in, but picks up four points as she does that. Number 31, Fiona Grapple, hits the penalty box for Rocky Mountain. Our second jam is going to start here. Just one moment with, uh, looks like Brittany Betch as Oklahoma's jammer. Harper Bazaar as the Rocky Mountain Jammer, and she is through faster than Goose Poop through a screen door. She is our lead jammer. Oklahoma gets their jammer out as well. I misspoke earlier, by the way. That's Lexus Chainsaw. Rocky Mountain calls that jam off early. Four more points, and Rocky Mountain leads eight to nothing with 28 minutes to go right at the beginning here of our last match of the day. Number 80, ripping Rooster in for Rocky Mountain. Looks like Lethal Lamb into jam for Oklahoma City. They're off like my wife's bra after a long day out of the office. A couple of very strong three walls. Oklahoma City's jammer gets a cut track violation, which leaves Rocky Mountain's jammer alone on the track. She takes a pretty good hip out there. Both girls in the penalty box, both jammers in the penalty box, which puts Oklahoma City's jammer back on the track. In fact, it looks like both jammers going back on the track. Not sure exactly what happened there. Neither jammer through the pack just yet. Pretty strong three wall up front, four wall up front, up three wall up front for Rocky Mountain. In the back of the pack, you've got Oklahoma's three wall with Rocky Mountain's jammer struggling to get through. We started to split the pack up a little bit. Still a solid three wall for Rocky Mountain. Number 28, Lethal Lamb struggling to get through. 
40 seconds left in this jam, and neither jammer has broken out of the pack for the first attempt. They're in the first turn. Solid defense, both squads here in this moment. Both teams currently straight skating at full strength. Oklahoma's jammer has to recycle to the back around turn one. Rocky Mountain's jammer is out, and she is. I don't. You know what? We're not going to have a lead jammer during this during this jam, and there are only ten seconds left. Solid defense by both squads. Nobody has scored a point yet. That jam is complete with. What are we looking at here? Five points for Rocky Mountain Fight Club. Nothing for Oklahoma City in that particular jam. We've got a 13 nothing lead for Rocky Mountain with 26 minutes to go. Number eight, Sharpie Marker now in the jam for Oklahoma City. Looks like Rocky Mountain's jam or number 80, Rippin' Rooster starting in the box. Gives a power jam opportunity right off the bat for Oklahoma City. And there are literally three Rocky Mountain skaters all together on the track right now. Oklahoma City's jam or sharp E marker out of the pack. About to pass for her first opportunity to score. Great defense by Rocky Mountain there. Some good hip blocks. Two off. Number 86, Assault and Peppa, doing her best to hold things up. Rocky Mountain's jammer back in. Looks like we may have, nope, Rip and Rooster fake the pass. She's out of the pack, but she is not the lead jammer. Sharp E marker is the lead jammer. That said, Rocky Mountain just had their first Grand Slam jam of the event. Five points also for Oklahoma City. Just about 45 seconds left in this jam. Rocky Mountain's jammer. One skate, skates backwards, comes straight out of the pack. Picks up five more. Sharpie Marker hits a solid three wall. All oh, goes down, unfortunately. That's because of a trip by number 77, Sweetie Ramon for Rocky Mountain. She's in the penalty box. That jam is called off. Nine points for Rocky Mountain Fight Club. Eight points for Oklahoma City. Rocky Mountain leads 22 to eight with 24 minutes left in the bout. Our new jammer for Rocky Mountain, number 203, Mars Furiosity, comes up against 5446 Trenchtown Rocket. Excuse me, nope, that's just number 46. 46 Fatal Inferno out to jam for Oklahoma City. Whistle blows. Oklahoma's jammer recycled back to the back of the pack. And Rocky Mountain gets their jammer out first. Our lead jammer. Rocky Mountain's got two girls in the penalty box right now. Number 77, Sweet Ramon. Number 86, Assault and Pepper. Sweet Ramon comes out of that box. Rocky Mountain skating one skater down right now. Four points as just yet, but Mars Furiosity is our lead jammer for Rocky Mountain. Oklahoma City's Jammer bounced to the inside of the track. She recycles to the back. That jam is called off. And we are looking at five points for Fight Club. Rocky Mountain, that lead takes their lead to 27 to 8 with 22 minutes and change left in the match. Looking at Kiki Dicky on the track. Jersey Whirl on the track. 719 Alpha Q up. Or Alpha Q up. Jamming for Rocky Mountain. Looks like Lexus Chainsaw back in to jam for Oklahoma City. One of those Oklahoma City skaters goes down. And their jammer goes around behind them. She's caught with a 
three wall. Rocky Mountain gets their jammer out. Alpha Q up, lead jammer. Coming around to the back of the pack. Oklahoma City still trying to get their jammer. Oh, uh, looks like uh, Alpha Q is in the penalty box. Maybe a cut track violation. She's in there with number 31, Fiona Grapple. Rocky Mountain skating now without their jammer on the track. Oklahoma City has to recycle their jammer. Number 13, Lexus Chainsaw to the back of the pack. She still is not broken out of the pack. We are, and we keep backing up all the way back to the original jam line. Rocky Mountain's defense solid right now. Great three wall with. Kiki, looks like Kiki and uh, a couple of others up there. We had a star pass to Oklahoma City's Number two, Twisted Armani. That said, Alpha Q up is still our lead jammer. 34 seconds left in the jam. Rocky Mountain's got five points on the board. Looks like they just scored five more. Alpha Q skating, still skating hard. And number two for Oklahoma City, Twisted Armani. Just picked up four points for her squad. Four more points for Alpha Q as she breaks through the pack around turn number one. Taking a little breather as she comes around turns three and four. She's got a pretty solid lead right now. That jam is two full minutes. It's over. 13 points for Rocky Mountain. Four points for Oklahoma. Score now 40 to 12 with just under 20 minutes left to skate in the first half. All right, here we go. Number eight, Sharp E Marker jamming now for Oklahoma City. Harper Bazaar is now the jammer for Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain keeps their wall right up against the jammers. Oklahoma City starts their wall up at the pivot line. And before you can say she's out, she is in fact out. Harper Bazaar. Our lead jammer for Rocky Mountain. Oklahoma City does have their jammer out as well. She's not too terribly before, far behind. Once again, Rocky Mountain's got two skaters in the penalty box. Number 86 and number 215. Number 86, Salt and Pepper. Number 215, Sylvia Rath. Both in the penalty box. Rocky Mountain smartly calls that jam off with four points scored. Score now 44 to 12 with 19 minutes to go in the first half. Fatal Inferno who had a great bout yesterday as a jammer in for Oklahoma Victory Dogs. Number 80, Rip and Rooster up to jam for Rocky Mountain. Both teams have got their, their blockers line. We have a timeout. And while we're in timeout, I'd like to remind everybody that the Continental Cups are coming up here soon toward the end of the summer. North American East Cup is August 17th through 19th in Kalamazoo, Michigan, hosted by the Kalamazoo Derby Darlings. North America's West Cup is August 24th to 26th, Omaha, Nebraska, hosted by the Omaha Roller Girls. And the European Cup, scheduled for October the 27th and the 28th in Birmingham, United Kingdom, hosted by the Birmingham Blitz Days. Those are our Continental Cups. We'll talk a little bit further about the International Lift of the Playoffs and the Lift of the Championship match in our next set of timeouts. Your 5280 Fight Club from Rocky Mountain Roller Girls were the 2010 Lift of the Champions. Like, this looks like a salt. And, oh, that first whistle brings us back into play. Second whistle will start the action. As I said before, Fatal Inferno into jam for Oklahoma City. Rip and Rooster into jam for Rocky Mountain. Rip and Rooster sets herself directly in front of Fatal Inferno. Blocks are pretty solidly. Fatal Inferno manages to work her way around it and in turn number two becomes your lead jammer for Oklahoma City. Rip and Rooster still struggling around turn two as Rip and Rooster comes to the back of the pack. Oh, she Rip and Rooster practically gets herself 
out in front. And she is free. That said, Oklahoma City's jammer breaks through. She picks up four big points for Oklahoma City. Rip and Rooster skating hard around turns one and two with Oklahoma City's jammer directly behind her as the lead jammer. Likely to call this off before Rocky Mountain's jammer gets to the back of the pack. Both packs skating very fast. Both jammers having a hard time catching up. We got about a minute left in this jam. Here we go. Rocky Mountain skater comes to the back of the pack. Managed to get herself most of the way through that pack. Oklahoma City's jammer comes up through the around the outside, picks up a few points. Looks like she gets five more. That's a grand slam for Oklahoma. Chose not to call that off as Rocky Mountain's jammer came around and threw the back of the pack. Struggling hard now, though, to get herself through. She's got a three now, four wall that she's struggling to get past. Kiki sticks out a hip, backs herself away from the pack. She's back in. Oklahoma City. Kiki's going to the penalty box for a low block. That's the end of that jam. Nine points for Oklahoma City. Looks like four for Rocky Mountain. I'm going to update that score. 14 points for Oklahoma City, four for Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain still leads 48-26 with just about 16 minutes left in the first half. Here we go. Out to jam for Rocky Mountain. Number 138, Devastator. And number eight, once again, Sharp E. Marker. She is one heck of a jammer out there for Oklahoma. The whistle blows. They are off. The pack starts at the pivot line. All skaters around turn two, turn three. Nobody threw the pack just yet. We made practically one full revolution. Some solid hitting. Kiki about to come out of that penalty box. Just as Jersey World comes back into the penalty box. Rocky Mountains jammer almost one and a half times around the track breaks out as your lead jammer number 138 Devastator your lead jammer and just now does Oklahoma get their jammer through Rocky Mountain fighting hard Devastator falls off that jam looks like she just picked up four more points 52 to 26 in favor of Rocky Mountain with 15 minutes to play. Defense has been stifling on both sides, though. Rocky Mountain has found a way to manage to get themselves through. Number 203 now jamming Mars Furiosity for Rocky Mountain versus number 13, Lexus Chainsaw out there again for Oklahoma. Five seconds, the whistle blows. Skaters are off like a prom dress. And in no time at all, coming around turn number two, Rocky Mountain has the lead jam. Quickly passed by Electra's Chainsaw on turn number four, and smartly Rocky Mountain calls that jam off before any more trouble can happen. I think Lexus Chainsaw has got just a little bit of speed on Mars Furiosity. Mars Furiosity going ahead and call that off. No points for anyone. 14 minutes to go. Score does not change. Number 719, Alpha Q up, in for Rocky Mountain. Once again, number 46, Fatal Inferno in the jam for Oklahoma City. Looks like Oklahoma has their wall at the pivot line. Rocky Mountain has their wall at the jam line. Alpha Q up, gets a running skating start, busts her way through, and she is our lead jammer. Oklahoma's jammer's gonna have to back and recycle up, recycle through the pack. As now is Alpha Q up for Rocky Mountain. She's gotta come all the way back to the jam line. Both skaters around corner number one, corner number two, Alpha Q up. Managed to get through, she's gonna score her first points here. Five, we got a grand slam right here for Rocky Mountain. 
Oklahoma's jammer recycles behind turn number two. Out the queue up, knocked out of bounds. She has to recycle back as well. Fatal Inferno, everybody's backing all the way up. Here we go again, back to the jam line, everybody. 50 seconds left, off the queue up, takes the inside track, no problem. She's free again, that's five more points for Rocky Mountain. 10 on this jam with just 40 seconds left. Inside, outside, inside Ryan, off the queue through one more time. Oklahoma finally breaks through with just about 25 seconds left in the jam. Off the queue has got this one wrapped up. Oklahoma City did just uh, score their first points, if I'm not mistaken. They take home four points right now. That jam goes the full, full two minutes. Rocky Mountain picks up 14 more. So Oklahoma City's four. The score now, 66 to 30 in favor of Rocky Mountain with just about 12 minutes left in the first half. All right, one of our smallest skaters out there, number 28 for Oklahoma City, our jammer, Lethal Lamb, coming up against number 617, Harper Bazaar, one of Rocky Mountain's captains as a jammer. The whistle blows, we're off. And it looks like Lethal Lamb, small but plucky, fighting hard through that first wall. Harper takes the outside track. Looks like number 54, 46, Trench Town Rocket in the penalty box for an elbow, Oklahoma City. Rocky Mountain has a power jam opportunity here. But not anymore as they've got one coming into the box right now as well. Number 317, Flipper. And in the process, Harper Bazaar breaks out as your lead jammer. Lethal Lamb has to circulate back as Harper Bazaar comes right back through. Knocks down one Oklahoma player. She's recycling back again as well. All skaters back behind the penalty, excuse me, behind the jammer line, number 28. Lethal Lamb in the penalty box for a forearm. Rocky Mountain's got a two skater advantage right now. Harper Bazaar's got five points on the board with 40 seconds left. Oklahoma has yet to score during this jam. There was a star pass to number 27, Jade Shark. That was your pivot for Oklahoma. Harper takes a little bit of a breather, backs up to turn number two, starts to skate forward again. Lethal Land back on the track for Oklahoma with 19 seconds left in the jam. Still only five points on the board for Rocky Mountain. But they have put up one heck of a three wall against Oklahoma in between turns three and four. Harper through. That jam goes the full two minutes. With Rocky Mountain picking up 10 points. The score now 81-30 with 9 minutes 25 seconds left in the first half. I feel as if Rocky Mountain has really figured out Oklahoma's defense. Not quite as strong as it was yesterday against Houston. Number 719, Alpha Q up in the game of jam for Rocky Mountain. Oklahoma's going to start with their jammer in the penalty box. Rocky Mountain's got a two-skater advantage to start. Alpha Q almost got through, but she knocked to the inside of the track. She's got to recycle back to the pivot line. And here we go. Recycled past turn one into turn two. Pushes her way around the turn. Still two skaters in front of her. Oklahoma City has got both skaters back out on the track. Both teams skating at full strength. Oklahoma's jammer back and Alpha Q up. 
Two turn one becomes our lead jammer for Rocky Mountain. Minute left in the jam. On the clock. Off the cue comes around. Takes the inside track. Calls that jam off. Looks like she just picked up three points right at the end of that jam. Stakes Rocky Mountain's lead just a little bit. The score now 84-30 in favor of Rocky Mountain over Oklahoma City. Seven minutes, 39 seconds left in the first half of this match. Once again, this is the last match of the day for the Best Surgers Tournament. Number eight, Sharp E. Marker, our Oklahoma Victory Dolls. Jammer in versus number 80, Rippin Rooster. Sharpie Marker takes the inside track, takes the outside track around turn number two. Looked like she was going to take off in front, but Rippin Rooster and all of the Michigas over there sneaks around the outside, becomes Rocky Mountain's lead jammer. Both jammers out behind the pack. Both packs moving through turns three and four. Rippin Rooster comes around. Grant, four points, four points for Rippin Rooster coming around through the pack again. Looks to me like Oklahoma has to recycle back to the back of the pack. Rippin Rooster comes through, second turn. Illegal contact call on number two for Oklahoma, Twisted Armani, she's in the penalty box. Rippin Rooster scores four more. That's nine points for, Oklahoma, for Rocky Mountain on this jam. She's through one more time, and that's a grand slam for Rooster. Five more to bring her to 14. Oklahoma yet to score on this jam. Rocky Mountain's defense just solid. And Rooster picks up another grand slam. Five more for Oklahoma. As number 45 for Oklahoma comes back in, sure losing in the penalty box, just as number two, Twisted Armani, exits the box. 20 seconds left in the jam. Rocky Mountain has a 19 points in this jam. Oh, Rooster took a solid shot coming around turn number four. Checking her lip for a little bit of blood. She was nearly knocked out of bounds. Rocky Mountain's defense just in the control. That jam comes to an end. 24 points for Rocky Mountain. Four points for Oklahoma. Solid offense, solid defense for Rocky Mountain on that jam. The score now 108 to 34 with just over five minutes remaining in the first half. All right, here we go. Number 46, Fatal Inferno, who had a great event yesterday into jam for Oklahoma. Number 138, Devastator, in the jam for Rocky Mountain. In the meantime, we have an official review called for by Oklahoma. Not sure what they're asking for just yet, but we'll figure that out. We spoke earlier of the 2018 International Lifted of Playoffs. First set of playoffs in Europe happened at A Coruña, Spain, August 31st to September 2nd, hosted by A.S. Brigantius Roller Derby. And in the United States, the Atlanta... Roller Girls are hosting the 2018 International Lift of the Playoffs in America, September 21st to the 23rd. Just under five minutes left in the match, 4.58 to be precise. Still waiting on this official timeout or official review. We'll talk a little bit about the 2018 International Lift of the Championships. Those are scheduled November 9th through November 11th in the Big Easy, New Orleans, Louisiana, hosted by the Big Easy Roller Girls. Oklahoma City has not been able to figure out Rocky Mountain's defense. Rocky Mountain's walls, stout, 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 stout. And you can hear the crowd in the background. Rocky, 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 fight, fight, fight. We've got a lot of supporters here for the Rocky Mountain girls. Of course, we are at home. That helps things tremendously. The Beast Squad for Rocky Mountain took a beating earlier in the day, 11 o'clock this morning. 
But this A squad here, the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls 5280 All Stars, are just taking it to Oklahoma Victory Dolls. I think that they're a little bit upset about their loss to Sailor City from Argentina yesterday. An incredibly close bout yesterday. Argentina in the last two jams of the afternoon really started to pull away and I think they only won by about 15 points. It was neck and neck throughout most of that event. All right, we've got a revision review back. Not sure exactly what the story is. Doesn't look to me like anything's gonna change. Rocky Mountain is gonna start with, uh, looks like make you pay in the penalty box. As I mentioned before, Fatal Inferno in. And as soon as I say her name, she's through the pack as the lead jammer for Oklahoma Victory Dolls. Once again, uh, Devastator, your jammer for Rocky Mountain. She is also through the pack. Not terribly far back on the tail of Oklahoma's jammer. Rocky Mountain three wall up. And they slowed down Fatal Inferno quickly. Looks like uh, multiplayer block sends the elbow block goes to uh, Kiki Dicky. She's in the penalty box for Rocky Mountain. Four points on the board for Oklahoma City. Just about 4.15 left in the first half. Here we are from turn number four. Everybody comes with a stop. Fatal Inferno hits her toe stops. Manages her way to the front of the pack with only two blockers in there for Rocky Mountain. Pushes her way through. Five points, a grand slam for Oklahoma. Just as Oklahoma puts number 45, sheer illusion in the penalty box. Not sure what that was about. A 138 Devastator still out there. Trying to jam, she hits the outside of the track on the first turn. She's got to recycle all the way back to the back of the pack. Right about the jammer line, in between the jammer and pivot line. She's out again, back of the pack once more. 22 seconds left in the jam with nine points on the board for Oklahoma. And number nine, nine back block goes to the penalty box. That's make you pay for Rocky Mountain now in the box. Seven seconds left in this jam. Five more points for Oklahoma. That's 14 points, so she calls this off with about three seconds left in the jam. Oklahoma garners 14 points. It looks like right as that happened, Fight Club picked up four at the back of the pack. The score now, 112-48 with two minutes, 45 seconds left in the first half. All right, here we go, in the jam. Number 13, Lexus Chainsaw for Oklahoma. Number 203 in the jam for Rocky Mountain Mars Furiosity, and we have an official timeout. Official timeout called. May have mentioned it previously. Oklahoma comes in ranked number 53 in the Wolf Dinner rankings into this tournament. They've had a little bit of a rough season. They started out one and five before they got here. It looks like they may go home with two more losses at the, uh, the end of this tournament. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma is their home. Their motto is hashtag relentless. They traveled 680 miles to get here to Colorado. By contrast, 5280 Fight Club for Rocky Mountain Roller Girls are ranked 30th. They haven't had a great start to their season. Three and five coming into the tournament. They did win the 2010 Wolf to the Championships. They were founded in 2004. They still have two skaters who, uh, who are original skaters. Their mascot, Wolfie, was retired last year, and they are hosting best ones for the 50th in a row. Here we go. Huck to start this jam again with number 13, Lexus Chainsaw. And number 203, Mars Curiosity. Mars Curiosity rams into the back of that pack comes through just outside of turn, turn number two. She's the lead jammer. That's called off. No points in that jam. Not sure exactly why that was called off, but we've got two minutes, 10 seconds left in this first half with Rocky Mountain up 112 to 48 over Oklahoma City. All right, number eight, Sharp E, marker into jam against Rocky Mountains.
Harper Bazaar, your captain. Whistle blows. Both girls. Harper Bazaar takes the inside turn and just outside of turn one. Breaks out almost untouched. Also out comes Sharpie Marker, not too terribly far off her tail. But, oh, she takes the inside turn. A little pirouette on turn number four. Picks up four points. Yep, four points for Rocky Mountain. The score now won 16-48 with a minute 16 left. All right, here we are. Probably going to be one of the last jam or two of the first half. Number 46, Fatal Inferno in for Oklahoma City. She lines up with her back next to, but her back to Rocky Mountains jammer. Rocky Mountains jammer, number 80, Rippin' Rooster. Won't take any of it. Both teams put one skater in the box. Not sure what happened. Rooster in that process of bringing skaters to the penalty box. Breaks out, she's your lead jammer with just about 39 seconds left in the first half. Comes to the back of the pack. Hits a three wall with the front of the pack hard. Manages to sneak her way through. Picks up five points. That's a grand slam for Rocky Mountain. She's all alone as Oklahoma is having a hard time getting Fatal Inferno through. And as Inferno recycles back, Rooster comes through again for another grand slam. That's 10 points. Rocky Mountain has a full roster of skaters back out as their penalty box is cleared. Rooster, oh, and she's about to enter turn three, just knocked out of bounds. She is going to recycle back. No time left on the clock. This is going to be our last jam of the first half. She's already picked up 10 points. They are shutting out Oklahoma in this jam. She picks up. Third grand slam calls that jam just as she picks up the points. 15 more for Rocky Mountain, 131 to 48 as we enter halftime. We will be back, ladies and gentlemen, in just 15 minutes. Both teams will meet, do a little bit of strategizing, and I'll talk to you all in 14 minutes, 30 seconds.
weeks that can play for 1200 bucks. I don't care where they come from. So, we'll see. All right, what do we got? A minute and a half? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Yep. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. WFTDA.TV live broadcast of the Best of Tournament. This is a Whiff of the Sanctioned Tournament hosted in Denver, Colorado by the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls Roller Derby Association. We enter the second half of this last bout of the day with Rocky Mountain ahead 131-48 to over Oklahoma Victory Dolls. We'll see what kind of the adjustments the Oklahoma team made at halftime because Rocky Mountain run roughshod over them in the first half. We're going to start the second half with Fatal Inferno on the track as an Oklahoma jammer. She seems to be up against Alpha Q up. Everybody listening out there, I think I got a little crush on Alpha Q, but uh, nobody else needs to know that. Only everybody listening on television. <laughs> Tw 22 people. 22. All right, well, you all let her know. You know, one of the things I love most about this is these girls are all smiling and laughing at each other or laughing with each other. Probably not at each other. Maybe at each other, but definitely with each other. I love the camaraderie of uh, roller derby. As soon as this whole bout is over, they'll all go have drinks together. That first whistle lets us know that we're about to start. The second one will get us into action. There's your whistle. And sooner than you can say she's gone, just like Hall and Oates, Alpha Q up is through the pack. She's gone, and I gotta learn how to play. Alpha Q already back up to the back of the pack as Kiki ends up in the penalty box. I have to have a few words with my good friend Kiki Dickey about the amount of time she spent in the penalty box today. Alpha Q calls that jam off from her knees around to turn number two before she can be caught. Picks up three points. 134-48 in favor of Rocky Mountain. Only 45 seconds gone from this match. We're looking at Sharp E. Mark Burr, Oklahoma Victory Dolls jammer. Coming in against... See the number off the top of my. Ah, uh, six seventeen. Harbor Bazaar, your captain for Rocky Mountain. I should have known. <laughs> through the pack, through the run, she hits a, the right hand corner around the first turn on the outside, and she is free of the pack. Harper Bazaar is your lead jammer. Oklahoma still fighting to get their jammer through. Harper comes up to a three wall, tries to hit the inside, knocked to the inside of the track, recycles back to turn number two. As number one, multiplayer block. Actually, we've got uh, number one and number eight, the Sharpie marker, the jammer for Oklahoma City in the box for a cut track violation. That leaves Harper Bazaar as the only jammer on the track at the moment, playing against only three Oklahoma only three Oklahoma blockers gets a little bit of help from number 31 Fiona Grapple breaks up that wall and she's through again she picks up we're up to 10 points now that's a five point jam or five point turn for for Rocky Mountain number three Brittany Betts back in Harper scores five more as she gets through a shortened Oklahoma City squad. A couple of skaters hit the floor. Harper Bazaar around the outside of the pack. While nobody is looking, she goes through for four more points. Got 16 seconds left in this jam. Oklahoma yet to get their jammer out. Ooh, Harper knocked out of bounds coming around turn number four by Brittany Betch, a solid shot. This jam is about to end. Jam is over, woes the full two minutes. 19 points for Rocky Mountain. They are now up. Excuse me, 22 points. They are now up 156 to 48 with 26 and a half minutes left in the bout. Number 13, Lexus Chainsaw in the jam for Oklahoma City. 
Rippin' Rooster. Number 80 in for Rocky Mountain. The whistle blows. Rippin' Rooster, oh, tries to sneak around the outside. Doesn't quite get there. Knocked out. She gets back behind the pack, behind the wall. And while all that happens, Oklahoma's jammer does a couple of pirouettes through the track. She's your lead jammer. Number 13, Lexus Chainsaw. Comes around the back of the pack. Turn number three. Jumps the apex. Can't quite make it. She's going to have to recycle all the way back. And I mean all the way back. Meanwhile, Rip and Rooster still fighting her way around turn number four. She's only got one skater. She's out. Oklahoma's put one skater in the box. Looks like maybe a low block. Rip and Rooster calls that jam off. Picks up three more. Nope, excuse me. Oklahoma picks up those three points. Rooster gets just to the back of the pack. Can't get those points on the board for Rocky Mountain. The score 156 to 51 with 25 minutes, 25 seconds left in the bout. Devastator, number 138 on for Rocky Mountain Roller Girls and against number 46, Fatal Inferno. Looks like the pack is coming right back to the jam line as both, both jammers push hard into the pack. Rocky Mountain's got to rotate back and, and now, now Oklahoma has to recycle all the way back to the original jam line. Rocky Mountain gets their Devastator out. She is the lead jammer. Happened around turn number two. She's a tiny skater as well, but she goes in hard to that back of that pack and knocks a couple, one, two, three skaters down. As she's through again, she picks up five points. That's a grand slam. My mistake, she's only picked up four points there. She calls that off before Oklahoma can get their skater to the back of the pack. Four more points for Rocky Mountain. 160, 51 with 24 minutes. 10 seconds left in the match. Rocky Mountains already got their jammer. Both teams got their jammer back out there. Mars Furiosity, number 203 in against Sharp E. Mark Err for Oklahoma victory. Once again, that pack comes right back to the jam line. And as they're skating backwards, Mars hits the inside while nobody's looking. She's free immediately. Lee Jammer, Mars Curiosity for Rocky Mountain. Hits the inside corner, coming around turn number three again. She comes through, that's a five point jam. Grand slam for Mars Curiosity. Oklahoma still struggling to get their jammer out. She's got two skaters in front of her. She's out of bounds, she's got to circulate back. Meanwhile, Mars back into the pack again around turn number one. Hits the inside corner. She's out. She's out again. Another five points for Mars. Both teams with one skater in the penalty box at the moment. Mars through the inside, right around the corner, inside corner again. That's another five points. That's 15 for her with just under a minute left in the jam. Looks like she's going to have to circulate back, back. As one Oklahoma defender comes in the box, another one leaves. Mars is back out. Rocky Mountain is at full strength as number 922. Volak gets back into the match. Two skaters now in the box for Oklahoma City. Sinbin's full. Rocky Mountain puts one in. A lot of room on that track right now. Mars calls that just as she picks up five more points. And with 22 minutes, 10 seconds left, that's a 23-point jam for Rocky Mountain. They are now up 183-51 over Oklahoma Victory Dolls. Rocky Mountain Roller Girls 5280 All-Stars are killing it. All right, here we go. Number eight, Sharpie Marker in for Oklahoma. And Alpha Q up. Both into jam. Five seconds is called. There's the whistle. They're off. Alpha Q up. This time takes the outside. 
and with a wide open track because Oklahoma's got two two skaters in the penalty box, she's through as Lee Jammer quickly. She's picked up. Uh, now this will be a power jam opportunity for Rocky Mountain as Oklahoma's Jammer is in the box for a cut track violation. Oh, Alpha Q hits a three wall and goes to her keister quickly. She calls that jam off. Looks like she's lost uh, lost her breath. Maybe she got the wind knocked out of her a little bit. She does pick up five points right as she, excuse me, nine points just as she, she calls that off. Rocky Mountain up 192 to 51. Oh, it looks like something with a low back or buttock. I'm not sure if it's a uh, cold muscle or something, but she is going to be going straight to the medic. All right, here we go. Harper Bazaar starts in a power jam position on this jam with no other jammer on the track. And of course, she's through, no problem. Oh, keeps her feet as one skater tries to come and get it from behind. Here, Sharpie Marker comes back in. She recycles it back in the pack. She is back in the match for Oklahoma. Rocky Mountain sends number 86 into the penalty box. That's uh, a salt and pepper just as number 31. Fiona Grappa goes back on the track. Meanwhile, Rocky Mountain picks up four points on that jam, calls that jam off. And we are now up 196 to 51 for Rocky Mountain with 19 minutes, 45 seconds left in this bout. Number 80 coming in for Rocky Mountain. Rippin' Rooster to jam against number 46, Fatal Inferno. Doesn't look like a timeout, but we've got people talking in the center of the track, and now the timeout is called. That looks like a... That looks to me like an official timeout. We'll talk a little bit about the fact that Rocky Mountain just seems to be out skating Oklahoma City. Every wall that Oklahoma puts up seems to either be gone through or around and quickly. Rocky Mountain's defense, very stout, very tough. Their walls have been tight. They haven't split up an awful lot, which causes them not to have to reform very much, which means those walls are solid and not going anywhere. And Oklahoma City just cannot figure out how to get through or around them. Of course, there's still a lot of time left and two very good, two or three very good jams for Oklahoma City. Then could turn around a little bit of luck, maybe some time in the penalty box for Rocky Mountain or some injuries or something. But. Uh, Whatever might happen, Rocky Mountain is up by about 140 points now with about 11 minutes to go in the bout. Of course, the live broadcasters are told what the official review is about. I, sitting here in the box alone on your TV screen, don't get that information. So I'm afraid I can't give it to you, only let you know when everything starts and stops. Weedy Ramon, Jersey Whirl, and Kiki Dicky all on the track right now, put their arms around each other. Looks like they're smiling for a selfie. Always time for a camera shot in between play, especially during one of these official timeouts. Looks like we're close to back to action here. There seems to be maybe a scoring issue with the... Oh, have we lost the scoreboard? That's what's going on. We've lost the live, real-time scoreboard. Well, that's going to make things difficult for me. Oh, wow, I've got it right on the computer here next to me. How about that? It's the rest of the people out there in 
live land, they're going to struggle with points. That's all right. They'll get that figured out in just a moment, I'm sure. Let's see. What can I tell you guys? We've already talked about the Continental Cups. North American East, August 17th to 19th in Kalamazoo. North America West, August 24th to 26th in Omaha, Nebraska. And then October the 27th and 28th in Europe, in Birmingham, United Kingdom. That's hosted by the Birmingham Blitz Dames. 2018, the International Wolf of the Playoffs will be in A Coruña, Spain, in Europe, August 31st to September 2nd. Atlanta, Georgia, September 21st to 23rd, hosted by the Atlanta Roller Girls. And the 2018 International Wolf of the Championships will be in New Orleans, Louisiana, November 9th through 11th. Hosted by the Big Easy Roller Girls. I'll tell you a little bit about our skaters here. Oklahoma City. Once again, one and five on the season coming into the tournament. Ranked number 53. They are facing the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls 5280 Fight Club. Ranked number 30th. They come into the tournament three and five on the year. And we've got our scoreboard back, which means we can start this match again. Here we go. Number 80, Rip and Rooster on the track as a jammer for Rocky Mountain. Number 46, Fatal Inferno on the track for Oklahoma City. Five seconds has been called. There's the whistle. We are back on the track with 19 minutes, 25 seconds to go. Fatal Inferno going to the outside. Ripper Rooster going to the inside. They switch places and switch places again. And Rooster hits the outside and she is free. Ripper Rooster free for Rocky Mountain as your lead jammer. Jersey World puts one heck of a block on Fatal Inferno. And as we say that, my good friend Kiki Dicky back in the penalty box one more time. I think she threw an elbow where she wasn't supposed to. Going to have to have a few words with her after the match about her time in the penalty box today. Four points scored for Rocky Mountain. Rip and Rooster pushing hard against the pack, coming around turn number one. Looks like in Inferno number eight, no, excuse me, number 46, struggling to get through the pack again. Kiki Dicky back in, she races around to the back of the pack, turns around, gets her hips in, makes a serious block in turn number three. Kiki back in the penalty box one more time. That jam is called off. Four points for Rocky Mountain. 196-51. 17 minutes and a half to go in the second half. Here we go, number 138, Devastator on the track. And we've got another timeout. This looks like an official timeout. Our skater names out there, sir. There some names I haven't really called too much today. I'll use them now. Check one, two. Lil Shanksta, Twisted Armani, Emma Seahammer, Jade Shark, Lethal Lamb, Brittany Belch, X Ray, Galaxy Inferno, Polly Punching Pocket, Sheer Illusion, Fatal Inferno, Trigger Trixie, Trigger Trixie, Trench Town Rocket. Does dispense her and Sharpie Marker all skating for Oklahoma. For your Rocky Mountain Roller Girls, we've got Kiki Dicky, Motorbutt, Jersey World, Devastator, Mars Furiosity, Sylvia's Wrath, Fiona Grapple, Flipper, Harper, Bazaar, I'll fuck you up, Sweetie Ramon, Rippin' Rooster, Assault and Pepper, Volak, and May Q. Hey, all skating for Rocky Mountain today. Looks like uh, in that review, some points were reassigned. Nine points for Rocky Mountain. They're up 201 to 51. 17 minutes, 56 seconds left. Devastator on the skate as the jammer for Rocky Mountain. And Lexus Chainsaw in for Oklahoma. Lexus Chainsaw jumps out in front as Rocky Mountain's three wall is out front. She seems to be making a little bit of progress, and she's knocked out. She's got to recycle back. Meanwhile, 
Rocky Mountains Jim or Devastator still struggling. She gets to the outside and there she is. She is our lead jammer. Alexis Chainsaw does manage to break herself out of the... Uh, Devastator calls that off with four points on the board for Rocky Mountain. We'll update the score in just a moment. Just make sure everything is right as we get ready for the next jam. Number 203, Mars Curiosity in for Rocky Mountain against Sharp E. Marker in Oklahoma. Those are our jammers. Score 205-51. With 16 minutes, 40 seconds left. There's the whistle. We're off again. Mars Curiosity cuts inside, cuts outside. Around turn number one. She's the lead jammer by a mile. Oklahoma's got one, uh, their jammer up at the front. She looks like she's about to, oh no, she's got to recycle back. Knocked out on the outside of the track. Oklahoma's got their first skater now in the penalty box in a little while. Number 5446, Trenchtown Rockette. Mars Furiosity around again. She picks up five points. There's a grand slam for Mars. Coming up to the back of the pack again around turn number four. Goes, hits the outside, calls it off with four more points. Nine points for Rocky Mountain. The score now 214 to 51. 15 minutes, 55 seconds left in the second half. Number 719 Alpha Q. And number 46 Fatal Inferno on the track as jammers for Rocky Mountain and Oklahoma, respectively. Looks like the yeah, we got two three walls at the whistle right up against the jammer line. And without even blinking, Alpha Q jumps right through the pack. She is your lead jammer. Oh. Two skaters hit the floor quickly, including Oklahoma's jammer. Alpha Q calls that off before things get too dangerous. Picks up four more points. 218.51 with exactly 15 minutes left in the bout. Number 28, Lethal Lamb, the tiny skater from Oklahoma, in against the lanky number 617, Harper Bazaar, up there to jam for Rocky Mountain. Looks like the pack starts up at the pivot line, but just before the whistle blows, Rocky Mountain's girls move back. I think that was a mistake because Lethal Lamb slides right through them. She's tiny but fierce, and she's quick. She's already come up to the back of the pack. Of course, Rocky Mountain now is out with the rooster, excuse me, uh, Harper Bazaar through the pack. Oklahoma calls that off. As she sees Harper Bazaar coming up behind her, Oklahoma finally picks up a couple of points. That's two points here for Oklahoma. The score is 218 to 53 with 13 minutes, 55 seconds remaining. Fatal Inferno will now face off. With Ribbon Rooster, there's the whistle. Some pretty solid hitting here. Number, uh, looks like 99, Make You Pay, hits the ground. Number 46 hits the ground, Fatal Inferno. Rocky Mountain's got their jammer out. Ribbon Rooster, not far behind though. Fatal Inferno, right on her tail. Let's, and the pack is moving fast. These girls are trying to catch the pack. Rippin' Rooster does get past one, two. She picks up two points and calls that jam off smartly. As Fatal Inferno was literally on her heels. Two more points brings Rocky Mountain score to 220. 53 points for Oklahoma, 1246 left. We've got Devastator out now against Sharp E. Marker. 
Oklahoma's asking a couple of questions. We've got a team timeout for Oklahoma. Once again, they are down 220 to 53. Rocky Mountain seemed to uh, have kept things moving the appropriate direction after halftime. Oklahoma thought to make some strategical changes, doesn't seem to have been able to make the changes necessary to catch up. Rocky Mountain just skating circles around these girls from Oklahoma. They'll go home to Oklahoma and they'll talk about what happened this weekend. I'm sure they'll recoup and they'll get their, their act together, start playing some games back home and win. Rocky Mountain out on the on the track enjoying themselves. Lots of smiles and laughs as they seem to have this one in the bag with just about 12 and a half minutes to go. Of course, I probably opened my big mouth and jinxed the Rocky Mountain team with a bunch of penalties and injuries. Hopefully that's not the case. Here we go again, number 138 Devastator on the track for Rocky Mountain versus Sharp E Marker for Oklahoma. There's the whistle. Devastator jukes to the inside, takes the outside. She's free as the lead jammer. Sharpie Marker still has two, now three Rocky Mountain skaters to get past before she can even get out of the pack. Devastator pushing hard. Small skater pushing hard against the three wall. They are moving and as I'm watching her, Sharpie Marker does in fact break away from her three wall. She is free to score a point. Rocky Mountain calls that jam off. I see four points for Rocky Mountain on the board. 224-53 with 11.45 left. Mars Furiosity in against, I can't see through the referee right now, number 28, Lethal Lamb, the tiny skater from Oklahoma City. Mars Furiosity puts her arms up in front of her, takes, pumps out in front of the two wall that's way out around turn number two. She is through, she is the lead jammer for Rocky Mountain as Oklahoma City has to recycle all the way back to turn number one, and again recycles back. Mars Furiosity works her way around the track one more time. She's through, and five points. We've got a grand slam for Mars. Rocky Mountain puts number 99 for a low block back in the penalty box. That's May Q Pay. And Mars calls that jam off. Scoring three more points. That's eight on the board, and the score now 232.53 as we approach the 10 minute mark in the second half. Alpha Q up in now to jam against Fatal Inferno for Oklahoma. I meant to say Alpha Q up for Rocky Mountain against Fatal Inferno for Oklahoma. Both girls take a sprinting start. Alpha started on the outside during that jam around turn number one. She switches to the inside, jumps to the apex, and she is your lead jammer. Such a solid defense for Rocky Mountain. Oklahoma's just struggling. Their jammer just now hits her knees. And hits her knees again. Alpha Q recycles back, bump to the inside on turn number one. She recycles back one more time. Keeps her toes around turn number two. And as that pack widens and opens up, she sneaks around the inside half of the track. Five points for Alpha Q up. And it looks like Fatal now is through for Oklahoma. Alpha Q up, calls that jam off after scoring 
Nine points. The score now 241-53 with just about eight minutes forty-five seconds remaining. Number six seventeen, Harper Bazaar, your captain in for Rocky Mountain. As a jammer. The pack up around the pivot line. Looks like both girls are gonna get a running start again. Number 13, Lexus Chainsaw. Jamming for Oklahoma. She's got to recycle to the back of the pack. And around turn number two, Harper breaks free. Oh! Looks like a high block. Blocking penalty of some sort on Harper Czar. She is now in the penalty box for Rocky Mountain. And actually, it looks like both jammers now in the penalty box, which means Harper will be up and back on the track again for Rocky Mountain. Two skaters in the box now for Oklahoma City. There's a little bit of room for Harper Bazaar to get through. Number 45, Sheer Illusion back on the track. And now, number 13, Lexus Chainsaw back on the track for Oklahoma Bowl team skating at full strength. With a minute five left in the jam. Harper puts her shoulder into number 40, Polly punching pocket and beats her way out of the pack. She scores again. Who cycles back as Oklahoma's Lexus Chainsaw has to get back into the penalty box. Harper sneaks underneath an arm out around the corner. Here we come into turn number three. Picks the inside and the outside track now around corner number four. Picks up five more. That's two grand slams here. That's ten points now for Rocky Mountain. As Oklahoma has two skaters in the box. Harper evades a hip. Runs into a two wall in front of her. Coming into turn number one one more time. Lexus back on the track. Harper breaks through in turn number one, picks up five more points. That jam was the full two minutes. That's called off with 15 points for Rocky Mountain. The score with six minutes, 15 seconds left. Rocky Mountain 256, Oklahoma City 53. Sharp E, Mark Her, Oklahoma Victory Dolls, jammer out. And we've got an official timeout on the track. Looks like they're going to talk about some of the action that happened in the last two-minute jam. I've run out of new things to tell you folks, so I'm just going to sit quietly for a couple of minutes. I tell you a joke, but we're on TV and everything I know is dirty. Gives both teams a little bit of an opportunity to rest, catch their breath, figure out what their strategy is for the last six minutes, two seconds of this final bout of the day at Bestern's tournament. This has been a lot of fun, this tournament. We had uh, Rocky Mountain Fight Club, Houston, Oklahoma, and Sailor City who came all the way from Argentina. We had uh, two teams from Rocky Mountain, 5280 Fight Club and the Contenders. Denver Roller Derby, losing altitude, who just absolutely took it to Rocky Mountain early today. They have lived up, even though that was the B team that played for Denver this morning, they have lived up to their rankings. The A team for Denver is ranked number five in the world. We had an exciting match, and just before this one started, Sailor City from Argentina scored 18 points on the final jam of the bout to take a five-point lead and win the bout. Nail-biting for everybody, but the fans who are watching, they thoroughly enjoyed that match. All right, we're back into action. There we go. Once again, I'm sorry, I don't have more information about that official review. They don't tell me here in this box. 
five seconds. That first whistle lets us know we're getting ready. The second whistle will get us into action. There it is. Everybody back at the jam line. Everybody all piled up, pushing, shoving, legally, of course. Or maybe not, because number 13, Jersey World, goes into the penalty box for Rocky Mountain. But in the scrum, out comes number 80. Rippin' Rooster is your lead jammer. Oklahoma City does have their jammer out as well. Both teams now have a number in the penalty box as Galaxy Inferno for Oklahoma City ends up in the box. Rocky Mountain called that off quickly with four points to score 260-53 with five minutes, 27 seconds left. And then Rocky Mountain calls a timeout. And you know, I'm watching some of these skaters out here. Skaters from both teams smiling and laughing with each other. I've said this before. I believe that one of the best parts about roller derby is that these girls are just great sports. They're out there fighting hard, but they typically seem to like each other at the end of the bout. And in fact, they'll all be going out and having a drink at the after party together tonight. Don't see that in a lot of sports, that kind of sportsmanship laughing and talking and chatting, hugging, high-fiving each other during the match on opposite teams. One of the things I love most about it, here we are, we're back, Devastator on the track as the jammer for Rocky Mountain against Fatal Inferno for Oklahoma City. Five seconds has been called. There's your whistle. A little bit of a hesitation for both skaters. Fatal Inferno goes inside, goes outside, around everybody. And as she's going around and hits the back of the pack, Fatal Inferno has to recycle back, so she's almost right on top of Fatal Inferno again. Takes the inside, then the outside. Oh, she gets knocked out of bounds coming around turn number one. She's got to recycle back practically to the jammer line. Both penalty boxes empty. Rocky Mountain calls that jam off with five points. 265 to 53 with four minutes, 45 seconds left. Mars, Curiosity out to jam against the tiny powerhouse number 28, Lethal Lamb for Oklahoma. Looks like both sets of skaters for the pack have backed up right almost to the jam line. And that tiny powerhouse for Oklahoma City almost gets the lead jam, but right around the inside corner. Turn number two, Mars for Curiosity escapes everybody. Looks like a lot of skaters are getting a little bit tired because a lot more of them are landing on the floor on their backsides than on their wheels, including our lead jammer for Rocky Mountain. She's recycled all the way back around turn number three. We've got one for each team, hit the ground around turn number four, including Lethal Lamb, the jammer for Oklahoma. She's got to recycle all the way back again. Meanwhile, Marsh Furiosity out of the pack around turn one, turn two, turn three, backing up onto the pack right now. Hits the inside corner, jumping that apex. She scores five points for Rocky Morton, Rocky Mountain. That's uh, 10 points for her in this jam. The star has been passed for Oklahoma City to number three, Brittany Betch. She's coming up behind the pack. Coaches wisely tell Marsh Furiasa to call that off after scoring 10 points. And now Rocky Mountain is up 277 53 with three minutes, three seconds left in the bout. Everybody takes a deep breath as they're getting ready to switch things out. Rocky Mountain's jammer out the queue up. Skates back to her spot against number three, Brittany Betts. She's going to keep that star on her helmet after taking it as the pivot in the last turn. Haven't seen Brittany start as a jammer yet.
The pack up around the pivot line. Both teams skating at full strength as we go into the last three minutes, three seconds. Both jammers ready to go. Five seconds called. Alpha on the inside as they start. Remains on the inside. Sneaks around the outside corner. Let's get her to go. She gets out in front. She is your lead jammer. Brittany struggling to get through the pack. She recycles almost all the way back. As Rocky Mountain's jammer passes her through the pack once again for five more points for Rocky Mountain. For Grand Slam for Alpha Q. She, I think she is Rocky Mountain's high scorer for the day. Really just doing a fine skating job. She's solid, she's powerful, and uses a little bit of finesse. We've got a pass, a star pass to number 46, Fatal Inferno for Oklahoma Victory Dolls. And just as that pass is made, Rocky Mountain calls that off. Nine point jam for Rocky Mountain, and Rocky Mountain calls a time out. We have a team timeout for Rocky Mountain, and with two minutes, 11 seconds left in the match, Rocky Mountain up 286 to Oklahoma City's 53. Rocky Mountain Talk strategy for the last 2 minutes 11 seconds. We've got number 13, Lexus Chainsaw, on the track as the jammer for Oklahoma City. Looks to me like Harper Bazaar. Looks like everybody's saying they love Harper Bazaar. Oh, Harper goes back to her position at the start of the jam line. Five seconds called. Once again, 2.11 left in the match. There's your whistle. Harper Bazaar on the outside. Lexus Chainsaw on the inside. Harper on her knees and staying on the inside. There she is, a little powerhouse, Lexus Chainsaw, your lead jammer for Oklahoma City. Really nice job slipping through the inside of that pack. And Harper is now out for Rocky Mountain. <laughs> Excuse me, Lexus Chainsaw fighting her way through the last two. Can't do it. <laughs> Has to recycle back further. Not much to say right now, trying to figure out if somebody's going to the penalty box. Sure enough, number 45, sheer illusion for Oklahoma City in the box. Lexus Chainsaw makes a nice move. Unfortunately, you can't keep her feet. Harper has just picked up five points, even though she's not the lead jammer. She's actually got nine points in this jam. Lexus skating hard. 51 seconds left in the match. 37 seconds left in the jam. Number 77, Sweetie Ramon in the penalty box now for Rocky Mountain. Harper. Knocked out of bounds, recycles in the back of the pack. Lexus fighting hard to, to get herself a couple of points here. Number 77, Sweetie Ramon on her feet, getting ready to leave the penalty box so that both teams are back at full strength. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second left in this jam. 13 points for Rocky Mountain, four for the lead jammer, Oklahoma. Rocky Mountain with eight seconds left in the match. One more jam will start. Rocky Mountain ahead, 299 to 57. Excuse me, 304 to 57. This will be 
your last jam of the afternoon. My name has been Drusifer. I would like to thank you all for listening to us on WFTDA.TV. We'll update you with the official final score at the end of the jam. Rippin' Rooster up to jam for Rocky Mountain. Looks like Fatal Inferno to jam for Oklahoma City. There is a there is a timeout. Oklahoma has called that timeout with eight seconds to go in the match. Your officials today's bout have been Snarkimedes, I own that. Ninja Assassin, Spike, Don Scorleone, MC Ninja, Rockstar, Colin Fairley, Ref Goldblum, Marjorie Ram, Derby Sanchez, Ultraviolet Blue, Rose Slambo, and Chanel Number Die. I've forgotten a few of them. Let's call the rest of the officials Beal Zabobo, Montana, Mahler, and Under Rager. Official timeout over. Or excuse me, the Oklahoma City timeout over. This is the last jam of the 2018 Best 30 Tournament. Five seconds called, and we are off. <laughs> Rocky Mountains jammer looks like she hit a forearm. She's in the penalty box, which means number 46, Fatal Inferno. She can get out to make a few more points as the lone jammer right now out there around turn number one. Close to turn number two for Oklahoma City. We've got four or five skaters now down on the track. Oklahoma City back at full strength. Looks to me like Rocky Mountain is now at full strength with their jammer back on the track. We do not yet have a lead jammer out of the pack. Rip Rippin' Rooster bounced off the track and recycles to the back. She breaks out. She comes in. Again, because she was in the penalty box, we have no, there we go. Number 46, Fatal Inferno for Oklahoma is your lead. Jammer with 49 seconds left in the jam. We're gonna go to full two minutes. She's, Fatal Inferno is knocked out of bounds. Has to recycle in the back of the pack. Ripping Rooster through the pack. For four points for Rocky Mountain. 24 seconds left. Fatal Inferno picks up four points as well. That's four for each team as number three, Brittany Betch, and the number 40, Polly Punching Pocket, goes to the penalty box. Fatal Inferno calls that jam off with just about 10 seconds left. Both teams score. Let's see. Rocky Mountain picks up eight. Oklahoma picks up seven. The final score unofficially at the moment. Rocky Mountain 312. Oklahoma City 64. Your home team gives the beatdown. I am Jerusalem. Once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Please. Stay safe out there.
How'd that work out for you guys? This morning's game, I can't find it now. Are you Kelly? Yeah, I'm Kelly. Okay. Good job, by the way. Find it, but we forgot to push stop stream, so we thought it was with the second game, but it's not in there now. So I don't know where it saved itself to. Okay, yeah, if it was streaming, it should have been it. it